Welcome to Star Tech, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to showcase um, how you can stay safe online without being traced. Now, it's a very easy method to follow, and I'll demonstrate on Google Chrome and Safari. Um, they are browser-based applications, so if you have a phone, an iPad, um, any sort of device that has Google Chrome support, so you can get that from your local app stores, um, Safari built in, uh, these methods will work for you. Um, if you are using Firefox and other browsers like Opera, um, it does get a little bit uh, different because of the layout and everything. Um, so I will do a separate video for that at some point. So do subscribe if you are new. And yeah, let's proceed with the video. So the first thing you need to do is load up uh, Google Chrome and you need to navigate to the Chrome Web Store. Now this Web Store is a free um tool that you can get any your extensions your applications to make your browser 10 times better than what it is prior to having that chrome web store support and you need to type into where it says search that store so you need to search for vpn now i've tried multiple vpns on the store so i can pick out uh, some of the best ones so the best ones i that i do use is holla vpn so that's the one there so holla uh, it is free as well. Uh, you don't have to pay for anything. Uh, just simply install it to your browser, and that's it. That's that's that is very easy uh, to acquire a VPN. You don't have to download any desktop versions of the VPN, um, but that is optional. So if you have a desktop application, I can recommend an application should you want to install it on your system. But if you just want to use it for your browser, because that's where primarily your searches are going to go on, or whether you want to watch Netflix from countries like Australia, uh, USN, or or any uh, countries that has that Netflix content, you want to watch it in the UK, you can also use a VPN to bypass that geo restriction. And then you can watch you know different variety of content from all over the world. So that's another um, good advantage that, that VPNs uh, provide. So it's Holler VPN, that's the first one I recommend. Um, if that doesn't work, because sometimes as well, if you are watching geo-restricted uh, content, it may not work most of the time as such, because, you know, they are trying to stop VPN accessibility and stuff like that. I don't know how they do that, but that's what they are trying to stop. But the next one I recommend, if you are watching, uh, or if you are planning to watch geo-restricted content, would be uh, the SendMate VPN. I've not had any issues with that whatsoever so if you are watching geo uh, graphical content that is restricted to countries you'd be better off installing this one but if you're just using it for your casual searches i would recommend holla vpn but if you have both that isn't going to be much of a problem um you can un uninstall one and then go back to the other so it's not like it's literally stuck on your system you can't uninstall it um so please be rest assured by that it's not glued to your browser it's a safe removal um so you don't need to worry about any of those uh, problems there so those are the two i recommend and also just press that add to chrome button if i didn't already demonstrate that just press that add to chrome and it's on your browser and that's it that's that that's all the technical tutorial done for that part just load it just press the extension on your toolbar at the top and just click a location and that's it that's that's literally you're connected to that country and then you're, you're no longer being traced on the internet basically so very easy and VPNs are coming more popular as well so that's um that is something too so i'm just going to showcase now everybody how you're going to get the same vpn or a different vpn depending on the browser is safari so if you're going on to safari if that's your browser of choice let me just try and make this smaller there so yeah, if you're just gonna go on to Safari, um, if you're just using an iPad, it will be a little bit different, but generally it's the same. All you need to do basically is go to the App Store, which is located right at the toolbar here. It will just be in an, you know, on your shelf if you're using an iPad or an iPhone. Uh, just type in extensions. Extensions. 
and these are all different extensions you can add to your browser uh, so for example there is like ad guard if you need an ad blocker but this is not what this video is about um if you are uh, if you do want ad blockers for safari i will do a separate video i think there's a video on the channel though um about ad blocking for ipad generally those apps for the ipad will work um on the app store um so if you do need ad blocking for safari head over to that previous video and then that will give you a bit more of an in-depth um, way of doing that so for VPNs, I would recommend. Now I haven't used Safari, but there is some. Um, well, there is some VPNs that I do recommend. Just navigating through them um, is VPNify. That's a good one. Uh, so as you can see there, unlimited VPN. You can connect to a country. Uh, so that's something that I do use on an iPad. Uh, so just click that download button, um, and that is completely free. Um, I'm not sure if they have invented any time restrictions because some VPNs do you only get like 30 minutes or something like that. Um, if they do, there is another VPN that I would recommend adding to your browser. And that is a VPN Shield. So that's another one. So as you can see there, we got Australia, Canada, France, Germany. Um, so that will also suit everybody's needs. Uh, so if you haven't got an extension for the first time, just it click get click install and you would need to sign into your iCloud if you haven't already and your password and that's basically then installed to your sister to your browser it's a very easy uh, method just click get click install and then obviously if you if you uh if you do get prompted with that sign in prompt all you need to do is sign into your apple iCloud details and then that extension is basically on your browser. Now, I don't know how you actually see the extensions itself. Um, but let's just see if there is an extension option on the actual browser so then you can actually uh, see it. So there is no extensions on the actual browser, everybody, but it's t it is there. Um, I, it's, I don't know how you're supposed to like enable it or anything. Um, I will find out. Oh, so I see. I think you've got to open it from the app store, everybody. And that's why I'm thinking that that's how it does there. So um, basically, if you install it, it's going to be slightly different because I'm on a, I think it might be because I'm on a on a Mac, but it might be different on an iPad. But it's, it's, it is there. So once you've installed it, just click open. I don't know whether like Google Chrome, the extension is just literally on the toolbar like it is here. Um, but when you when you press that get when you when you open it up you'll have that extension there it's not i don't think it's installed on the system um i think it's very easy to for it to uh be uninstalled so if you go on to your finder no you launch pad and then that vpn shield just hold on for it for a few seconds press that x there and then that's effectively removed um quite a different one there for safari though because i would imagine it would have a toolbar but it didn't and that is surprising well i hope this tutorial helped everybody i know there's uh some bits where i didn't know myself um but i hope i cleared up any possible confusion um that was in this tutorial um if you if this did help though by any means hit that like button subscribe and share uh, it does support the channel but if you are um if this video didn't exactly help you though do let me know in the comments about the issues that you are having and then i'll try my best to help you um, but that's how you basically stay safe online, everybody. Like, you know, not staying safe as adding, uh, you know, antivirus or anything like that. Oh, well, uh, but I will cover antivirus in a different video. But it, it just helps you, um, you know, you can be anonymous online, basically, like screen geographic, graphical restricted content. 
in any country so that's one of the prime reasons now everyone's re re resulting to vpns um and just gives you that bit of internet security so then if anybody you know hacks in or anything it just prevents it from happening so that's how you install everybody a vpn and how you can stream content from different countries for free so yeah until the next one everybody stay safe and uh thank you for watching uh, uh, uh.